Hello everyone, I'm Mr. McBrien. This is SCH4U, Electrochemistry Virtual Voltaic Cell Lab. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is uh, just watch me give a video here to take you through how to access the uh, virtual lab and how to set things up. So when you go into Google, do a search on something like Kent Chemistry Virtual Voltaic Cell and choose the uh, option that has concentrations in it. Go ahead and click on it and when you do you'll see something like this. So this is a tool to allow us to experiment with different metals and electrolytes uh, and observe the effects. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a, a cell very quickly. So I'm going to set my electrode is silver over here. Now each time you do this, choose the salt that's associated with it. So silver, of course, is AG, so choose silver nitrate. Over on the right-hand side, I'm going to choose copper and copper nitrate. And you could change the concentrations of your electrolytes here. I'm not going to do so. I'm just simply going to click to start the experiment. And once you start the experiment, you can see the voltage that's produced between the two electrodes. We can actually see something you wouldn't see in the lab. You can see the electrons flowing and the light lighting up. The electrons flow across to the silver electrode where the uh, silver in solution is reduced. Now, the electrons come from somewhere. They come from the copper electrode. So the electrons are being pulled off of copper atoms here and the copper is going into solution is copper 2 plus. Now I'm going to set this up again just so that we can watch it one more time and that will give you a chance to see how to set it up one more time. Okay so silver, silver nitrate, copper, copper nitrate, Let's start our simulation one more time. Now you can see what's happening. The silver is coming out of solution and moving to the electrode where it's accepting the electrons. And that's resulting in an increase in mass in the silver electrode. On the other side, the copper is coming off of the electrode, giving up its electrons and moving into solution. And as a result, the copper electrode is being consumed. Well, that's a very fast demonstration of the, uh, of the virtual lab. Please go ahead and open up your outline of how to do this. Thank you, and have a good night.